Jimmy Garoppolo today. He has started seven games. He's on his way, dude. Seven games in his entire NFL career, and today he becomes the highest-paid player in the history of the NFL. And some of the numbers of his contract are staggering. $137 million deal passes the Matthew Stafford deal, but what makes it even more pronounced, because Stafford got like 135 so It's guaranteed. It, $90 <laughs> million guaranteed. Stafford only got 60. 60. Ninety million guaranteed. I can guarantee for Garoppolo. You all the teams, like I don't know, oh the Packers, maybe the Falcons, maybe the Saints, hate John Lynch right now. All right, so if you're Drew Brees and you're a free agent right now, right? Some people say, well, he'll settle for maybe a, a two-year, fifty million dollar deal with the Saints. Not now. Why? Not now. Jimmy Garoppolo is making thirty million a year for the next two years, and then you got the two big ones. Matt Ryan in Atlanta and Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. We're probably staring at Rodgers at a $200 million deal, which, by the way, will pretty much wipe out that franchise. Easily. Easily. Well, if, you know, if, if, if that's what Aaron Rodgers and maybe the market does dictate based on the Gar- Garoppolo deal, yeah, $200 million, what what he's asking for. Here's what I'm hearing with uh, Aaron Rodgers. A, a total $200 million, of which $125 million would be guaranteed as opposed to that $90 million. Seventy-five million guaranteed up front. The Packers will tell them to pound sand, Sorry. really, yeah. and wipe out their franchise. Did you see how the Packers look this year without Aaron Rodgers? Right, but think Brett Hundley is their future. But bring keeping Aaron Rodgers at that price tag mm-hmm. and where, where it limits you on in other areas of a team that is now old. No way. By the way, we were doing this. Jimmy Garoppolo is 7-0 and as a starting quarterback in the NFL. The two games where he filled in for Brady during the flake game. Five in a row to end the season with San Francisco. On a team that was 1-10 before that. So if he were to go undefeated for 16 straight years, 19-0, and winning the Super Bowl all those years, would he be better than Montana? <laughs> or would those Montana people still hang to Joe? I mean, if he did that, <laughs> he won 16 straight Super Bowls going undefeated every year. It might get him up there. And funny, would they be still six- hanging on to Joe Montana? Of course they would. <laughs>